welcome back to another episode on the Iron Mind server. Playing a little bit of Ark Survival Evolved. Good morning, as Wolfie would say. Good morning to you. Um, had a little bit of problems today. Been playing a fair while. Um, over, back over at the pit stop because I needed some silica pearl, pe, 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 silica pearl, silica pearls. Uh, we only have teeth now. I lost claws, so I called a taxi cab to give me a ride. <laughs> Had to capture another one, just a little one, just to get me about a bit, rather than hunting out a really big argy. Uh, but claws managed to die. I was up in the mountains, and well, I had. Um, claws on passive and I was trying my best to catch another wolf and as I uh, was perched up in the mountains thinking I was perfectly safe I jumped off started spying around with my spyglass to try and find some wolf somewhere worth going to get and all of a sudden I started getting attacked from behind as I turned around and switched, I was battering the wolf and I was trying to get it off me, but no avail. No, 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 no. It ended up killing me. And then shortly after I respawned, the passive claws, because he was on passive, well, she was on passive, because, well, I was catching stuff, so I didn't want it to eat the stuff that I was catching. Um, she got killed by a T-Rex. Sad, sad day. Uh, and then Teeth ended up just in the sky somewhere and I couldn't reach her and oh, what a day I've been having. <laughs> but Taxi Cab came to the rescue. A nice, easy little tame Taxi Cab was. Um, but I've, I've got a plan that I wanted to do for this episode and I've been working on it for a very long time. And I've decided that I'll just play and play and play until it actually came to fruition as it were. And I'm going to hopefully get on with it today still. Now, this guy over here is called Jaws. As you can see, he is my friend. I don't have a saddle yet for him. I haven't bothered doing a saddle. I literally tamed him and then logged off. And I've just come back on to start recording. And it looks like he's fine. He is a level 95 after taming, which is pretty good. Pretty good. I'm quite pleased with that. Uh, it's not a perfect tame, it's not the best tame, uh, but as you can see from the clip that I'm showing now, uh, it was an inevitable. I had to kill him. Well, I had to kill his friend. I was looking around for pearls. I've heard that this part of the west coast just over there is perfect for getting pearls from the ocean bed. And so I was having a little scout out to see if it was true. And while I was down there, of course, these two sharks decided to have a go. And so uh, one of them got tamed and one of them got fed to the other. So this is Jaws the cannibal. He ate his friend. <laughs> and I tamed him off the meat of his friend. Yes, that's the way. Uh, I have now got myself... I, I spent the last silica pearls, look. One silica pearl to repair this, but I think it cost me three to make it and then some polymer. So I've made myself a scuba mask and a scuba tank so that I could go pearl diving today to get the pearls that I need because the project that I'm working on requires me to get about 393 pearls. Yes, to be precise. So I'm happy now that I've got jaws because jaws can protect me uh, when I'm underwater there. So I'm going to cycle to aggressive. I guess and make him follow me so he will attack anything that comes in contact with me or around by me now I'm not a hundred percent sure where I'm supposed to be going with this right but <laughs> I'm gonna give it a go and we're gonna try it out on the camera so I put my scuba gear stuff on I didn't get enough materials to make the full suit unfortunately but still I'm having furs that should keep me going for a little bit and I apologise for the uh, visuals that you're getting now. Because I'm wearing a mask and you get to see me wearing a mask. So we get to swim around underwater a bit. And use a fairly unlimited amount of oxygen. 
It was pretty good, though. I had a good fight over here with the sharks, as you saw in that clip. And, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm pleased I managed to tame one, really. Wow. Okay, he's, uh, he's getting really aggressive. Well, fill up your tank. Get yourself sorted out so you've got everything you want. Go for it, boy. Go for it. Uh, I'm looking for shiny little pearl disc things. And apparently, this bay that we've got here, this bit just in here, below the hill, just out here, around here should be a good place to find them. I should probably get a saddle for him, and then I can swim down there fast, couldn't I? I could get down there major fast. Uh, or get bitey. Maybe I get bitey. Yeah, give me a minute. I'll sort this out. What's he after now? More, more basic fish. Okay, well, keep yourself stocked up. Right, so I'm going to get out of here as fast as I can and bring Bitey in and see if we can go underwater on Bitey. Okay. I don't know how good a swimmer down Bitey is actually going to be. But we shall soon find out. Oh, and this is quick, pretty quick, isn't it, actually? It's pretty good. Scooby gear on. And where's Jaws? What are you doing? Eating stuff? Get over here, would ya? Okay, well, we're on bitey, so we can get in. He doesn't go down deep very easily. That's a problem, potentially. So, the other one is possibly better. I can see much better from first person mode, though. Um. Um. First time I've been down here. I don't know if it's any good. I know there's another shark there, though. Where's Bitey? Uh, where, where's some shark? That's a shark. Oh, man. It's only a level 28. Should be okay. Fight, fight, fight. The, the actual uh, water, underwater, looks pretty cool. Try swimming up. Is that another one? That's another one. Dang it, man. That's another one. Okay. I'm going to have to go faster than this. He's not very good going down, is he? He's only good on the surface. Let's try getting back up then. Up, 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 up. Come on. Hey, here's Jaws to the rescue. Jaws to the rescue. Yeah? You rescuing me? Jaws? You rescuing me? Seems that way. It seems like he's rescuing me. Well, I'm not taking any damage, that's for sure. But again, I didn't see any of those shells. I didn't see any pearls anywhere. And so I've got to get back out again. I think I need to make a shark saddle. I need to make a, a saddle for the Megalodon. And that might do me. What is that? A little pile of something. He's really quick on the uh, the flat areas, but not very good in the deep parts. So Bite is not quite the one for the job, is he? Bite is not quite good enough, I'm afraid. Sorry, Bitey. But you're not quite good enough. Unbelievable. A Megalodon saddle is 18 Ingram points, and I have 17 left after learning all the things I've been learning today. One Ingram point shy. hi yi 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 And how many... Le like, I've only just started this level. So it's going to be a long time till I get anywhere with that. So, next option. My other option is a wooden raft. So I quickly went and made a wooden raft. And hopefully I can place it somewhere around here. Yes, okay. So Jaws will not follow me on taxi cab. Jaws will not follow me unless I'm in the water. Unfortunately. So there's a problem. There's a little problem. So now I've got to test to see if I can drive this and he'll follow. And taxi cab should follow as well. Yes. Jaws and taxi cab are following. 
Awesome. So I've got options. I've got Jaws killing stuff all over the place. I've got the ability to see... Well, I, I say I've got the ability to see the raft. Let's, let's hold for options. Can I hide sail? Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So now I can drive the raft. There we go. And... Oh, man. He's getting trilobites. That's awesome. They're actually pearls in there. Yeah, get some more. Get some more. I'm, I might just hang around here. Get some more of those, because I actually need a ton of those. That would be awesome. That's what I'm here for. Pearls. I want to do some pearl diving. But, well, you have no, you can see the problems I'm having. I need to be able to get down there. Where, where did... Where did he go? Mm, he's gone under the water, isn't he? He's gone under the water killing stuff. He's fighting another shark or something. I think I should give him a minute. Right, I'm going to fish for a little while. Fishing for pearls. I'm going to do some pearl diving off the coast here. And hopefully I'll find something fairly soon. Swift. Wow, look at that. Uh, hopefully I'll find something fairly soon. Ah, there he is. He's come back. Oh, he's fighting something. I know he's fighting something. I can tell. He's swimming around erratically under there. Yeah, he's fighting another shark, I think. That's awesome. <laughs> and that's what he needs to do. Clear the place up so that I can go down there. Alright. So. Can I help him at all? I can't see anything under here, can I? Uh, yeah, I, I, don't, I don't know what he could possibly be doing other than potentially dying under there. Uh, I could do with a little flock of them, couldn't I? I could do with a few sharks to protect me while I'm doing this. It's supposed to be fairly safe waters around here. And I suppose we haven't encountered anything other than a few sharks, which makes sense to be safe. Um, but, yeah, I, I'm going to let him finish. I'm going to do some diving. And when I find some pearls, I can get on with the episode. Oh, my days. They don't make these things easy to find. They do not make these things like they're supposed to be easy to find. Man, oh, man, oh, man. This must be it. But I'm right underneath a ledge here, so you can't even see them. But this must be the pearls that I seeketh. And uh, that must have been Jaws' teeth in my face. Okay. Can I collect? Wow! You get loads of silica pearls from these, don't I? Oh, man. Well, this is, a, this is good, then. Let's get across here. Let's get the rest of this before I run out of oxygen or stamina or something or other. But 46, that's epic. I needed 300 and something, so I'm, I'm glad it was worth the effort eventually. Right, now I've got to get all the way back up again without dying. Well, I made it out safe and sound. Whoo-wee! Um, but only 187 pearls out of that dive. So I need at least the same again and a little bit more to do what I want to do this episode. So I'm going to continue diving around this little area and hopefully, hopefully, hopefully I can find some more now. Now I know roughly where to go. If you want to see on the map roughly where I am, just about here. Well, there's supposed to be two locations around here. So I'm going to go and find the other one. On my days. Well, wouldn't you guess, eh? I found an underground cave. With all the silica pearls in it. Oh yeah. Lots and lots and lots of stuff. And it means I got out of the water a little bit. So I could actually build a little fire down here. I don't know. This is all underwater cave. There's lots of them though man. Oh man. I hope these respawn. This will be amazing if they respawn. There's loads of them. Absolutely hundreds. I've already got... All of the pearls I needed for this episode. I'm just going to empty the whole place out. And I'll be back when we go to make the thing to do the awesomeness. Oh man, this is crazy. Look at that. That's crazy. And there's all the oil and stuff under here and crystals and everything I need as well. That's a bit epic of a cave. Excellent. Well... I ended up with 1,386 pearls. I only went out to get 393, and that took me ages just to get the first few. Oh, but now I can craft. I can craft a load of these electronics. I need tons of them. Um, I can craft 
Yeah, I'm going to craft a full 100 because I know I need that many. Uh, I've got lots of crafting to do. I've got the iron, well, the metal ingots in there. I've got the pearls in there. Now I can make like a 136 or something of these all together. Oh, man, I've got some plans. i got some plans. So while that's running, let me just show you this. Uh, this is everything I've got so far, right? So I needed 140 electronics, 280 metal ingots, 100 cementing paste, and 40 polymer. Uh, now I know I could get that from penguins. I know I could get that from penguins. And I've been using the penguin one, but this one is just there to keep me tracking what I need when I need it. So once I've got all those things, then I'm going to show you what I want to do with them all. Wow, it's been a long, long slog, a long, long grind to get all this. Oh, thank... Finally, it's over. Alrighty, well, I don't know how long we've got exactly, but uh, I'm already cold. Dang it. Okay. I've been messing around with one of the dinos a little bit. Um, that is not to be taken the wrong way whatsoever. I have legitimately been looking at trying to uh, do something awesome, hopefully. Maybe. Something that I thought would be a feature rather than uh, an issue or a problem. Right, so here we go. Let me get over. Oh, I left that. I left the grill on. Oh, my days. Okay. Uh, yeah, we should probably turn that off now. Yeah, and I'll have some of that food. Oh my days. Well, it didn't run out. I only used 15 gasoline to do the whole grill's worth while I was gone. But at least that's something. Uh, yeah, here we go. Look, this is... Uh, wow. Inside of Jasmine's head. And this is the front of Jasmine. In a second, once I've walked over a fire. Hot coals. Right, front of Jasmine now is starting to look a little bit like a train. Yes. <laughs> I know, it's amazing, it's great, it's fantastic, but just look at it for a moment and stare in awe at the train. It's the best I could do, alright? It's the best I could do. But it's pretty awesome on the inside, and I wanted to put some... <laughs> I know, I, I wanted to turn it into a bit of a tanky train, so I wanted to put auto turrets on it. I know, I know, daft idea, I know. I know, but uh, let's get up up here. Right, you can see that I am completely enclosed currently. It's blizzarding, and it's not saying that there's anything wrong with cold or anything like that. I've even got spotlights on the front. Look, electricity. Spotlights coming forwards. Spotlights in both corners going forwards. So we can see the route ahead. Uh, or at least light lit up. We've got a generator and a fridge on the back there. Uh, but the best bit is I'm sitting inside a fully enclosed house. Fully enclosed house. So the weather isn't a problem for me at all either. And if I jump out of the house, or jump out of the seat, which is right there, I'm actually in the house, look, and I've got two air conditioners, one either side, yep, being powered. And I've got a fireplace, which is the, the like the front of the uh, train. And... Oh, don't want to demolish it. I've already demolished it a few times. Uh, it's a charcoal fireplace, okay? And that'll be an important little factor in a minute. Charcoal fireplace. So I'm only burning wood in there. Now, it's a Bronto. Brontos can get wood fairly quickly, right? And I'm burning it in the fireplace because... Well, just because. That's what I want to do, all right? That's what I'm going to do. I want to put the meat in the refrigerator as well. That's why I had the grill on over there and left it on because I was in the middle of making these turrets and I got carried away and it took me miles and miles out and hours and hours later. But still, now we're going to make the auto turrets. Oh yeah. Okay. And I don't know how bad they're going to be and I don't know how good they're going to be at the same time. Can I reach this inventory? Yes, I can. Good, good. I can load myself down with this. Cool. Uh, let's get... Take all items from the inventory. Oh, my days. I can't believe how long it took. I guess I can believe how long it took to do all of this because, well, you expect it, don't you? 
now structures electrical defense auto turret requires electricity to run consumes bullets while firing can be configured to automatically attack hostiles within range it costs 70 electronics i got 140 so i can make two it costs 140 metal ingots i've currently got 460 cementing paste 50 and polymer 20 that's why i doubled up so that i can make two of now i'm gonna make one for a start right but i wanted to so i thought i'd do all the work getting everything ready to make two okay i figured that would be a good thing now i've still got enough in there to make the second one if the first one works out okay and so yeah if the first one works out okay I need to get some bullets for it though, and I'm not sure what bullets it needs. Uh, I've got these kind of bullets, simple rifle ammo, which I'm going to take with me just in case. And the ability, actually, the ability to make tons more gunpowder is done in here. I want to set it all up so that if these guns work, that the materials that the bullets need to be created, such as spark powder, and charcoal and flint and stone flint and stone make the spark powder spark powder and charcoal make the gunpowder so i'm just gonna start that crafting one there make the gunpowder and then gunpowder and metal ingots make the bullets so i basically want to make her into a bullet factory on the back there now this could be a very very epic thing or a very very fail thing these little platforms here are where i want it to go so i'm trying to figure out where's a good place i mean having it sort of like angled i think would be a good idea so maybe just sort of overlapping like that just kind of on the corner so it's got a good arc of fire around this sort of section i think maybe and I don't know what it looks like exactly, so I'm trying to be as exact as possible. And there we go. Oh my days, and it's already powered as well. It's pointing down right now, but still. Targeting players or tame creatures only. What? Range medium. Let's have a look at this. Right, so it's off at the minute. Let's see. Change warning to two second warning. What? Two second warning, four second warning, no warning, okay. <laughs> no warning, fine. We'll keep it on four second warning. Change target to only players, no. Not only players. All targets, no. To players or tame creatures, no. Only players, no. No. No, 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 no. All targets. Players or tamed creatures only. I don't want to target players. And I don't want to target tamed creatures. I don't want to target only players. I want to target wild things. Well. Turn it back off again. Okay. Let's see. Uh, change range to high. Pick up automatic turret. Pick up automatic turret. I can pick it up. Man, I can't pick it up. Wow. Okay. Well, that's given me a huge advantage on this now. Okay. So, let's place it down. Oh, I still like it on the corner, kind of. Kind of still like it on the corner. I still put it there. It's looking pretty epic, though, isn't it? Massive steel, steel gun. I can't get past it, though. I, I'm kind of stuck on it now. Uh. Wow. It looks so cool. I like the way it works. But why, why I can't get past it is kind of annoying. So I've got to kind of pick it up again. I'm glad I found out that you could pick it up again. Okay. Okay. It's now targeting all targets. With a high range and a four second warning. I just lost my touch. Yeah. We've I've tried simple rifle ammo. That doesn't work. Advanced sniper rifles doesn't work. 
Advanced rifle bullets work. So it's advanced rifle bullets. Okay, so now. Is it going to do anything? I've only put like four in there. It's not firing at my creatures. It's four in there at the minute. Alright, okay. Can I, can I, can I access you? Can I get, yes, I can get in the driving seat from there. Okay, so let's slowly but surely work our way up with the auto turret in place. And let's see if we can hear it or see it firing off. There's another target. Well, that's a mammoth. If it's going to fire, it should be firing now. I don't hear it or see it firing, though. I don't know. Can I get a better look at it from up here? Uh, it's aiming. It's, 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 wait, it glitched. It's kind of uh, following aiming, isn't it? It's looking, oh, it's looking at that now. Four second warning. Ooh. It, look, it, oh man, there's another one there. There's another dude there, look. Get ready, little turret. Give him a four second warning. I don't think it's gonna shoot all targets. I think it's just checking targets. I don't think it's actually gonna kill anything. I'm pretty against the idea now. It looks like it's only really useful against players and uh, tamed. So it's good for PvP. Well, all of that hard work for a PvP turret. It does look cool though, doesn't it? It does look cool. So at least we've got that. Maybe it's only against hostiles. Hmm. I don't know, but it's looking cool anyway. Uh, I'm going to... I'm going to jump down here and say, say thank you. Say thank you very, very much for watching. What? Not my crotch. Stop crotching. Stop looking at my crotch. It's because it's moving. Uh, now then, thank you very, very much for watching another episode on the Iron Mind server, Ark Survival Evolved. Today, testing out the machine gun. That's not my, that's my, that's my machine gun. This is the machine gun. No, this is... Oh, my days. This is turning into a right fiasco, isn't it? Thank you very much for watching, and goodbye.